Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you some Pokemon that I recommend using against Volo and his Giratina right at the end for beating him quite effectively. These are my opinions of which Pokemon I think would be perfect. If I had the opportunity to actually rematch him, I think I would use teams like this. So this first team here is Alolan Ninetales, Hisuian Gudra, Roserade, Weavile, Tentacruel and Gliscor. Now this is excluding any legendaries in case you're one of those players who, who don't like using legendaries against uh, any of the battles in the game. If you are willing to use legendaries, my preferred team then would be Cresselia, Gliscor, Weavile, Dialga, Roserade, and Alolan Ninetales. Now both of these teams have very good coverage. They're able to hit any single typing from the enemy team, especially Volo's team in particular, but they have a very unique set of skills. <laughs> But though entire coverage is not too important, it's really up to actually getting to the end of Volo's team to face his Giratina two times. And Giratina is weak to certain types of moves. So if you look at this Giratina over here, Giratina is going to have damage against ghost types, dragon types, and psychic types. So your Pokemon that are ghost, dragon, or psychic are going to get hit really hard by Giratina. Now two of those types are actually weaknesses for Giratina, and that is the Ghost Typing and the Dragon Typing. So a Dragon Pokemon versus Giratina is both going to be super effective against attacking them, but you're going to be attacked super effectively in return. So it's going to be very hard trade-offs, like using Dialga for example. The same goes with Ghost. So I wouldn't really recommend using Dragon or Ghost Typings, especially if your Pokemon's not able to survive a hard hit. Like Garchomp usually gets like one shot by Giratina depending on your level because of just getting hit by Giratina for a super effective move. So instead that rules out the Ice, there is an Ice Weakness, there is a Dark Weakness, and there is a Fairy Weakness. The teams that I've shown you take advantage of using Fairy type moves and Ice type moves to better defeat Giratina quite easily. So let me go ahead and discuss each of these Pokemon and what makes them special. We'll start out with the Alolan Ninetales. The Alolan Ninetales has a very fast speed, so it's going to be going first out of most of the battles that you go in. And some of the Pokemon on Volo's team, you might even be able to use an Agile style to get two moves in at the same time. You also have a very good special defense. So using Alolan Ninetales against Giratina, you're more likely to survive a hit or two, and you, you'll definitely be able to go first. So you can use a nice strong fairy or ice type move to get huge damage off on Giratina. It's great if you can do this right at the beginning of the Giratina battle because Giratina, once it uses Shadow Force, is going to use Obscure and kind of make itself really hard to hit and you're going to miss a bunch of your attacks. So you want to have a Pokemon that is faster than Giratina. Now Giratina's speed is 90, so anything with a speed higher than 90 is going to be faster and it's going to go first. Moving on to the first tank that we showed you, this is Gudra, the Hisuian Gudra. Gudra is very good at tanking. It is a dragon typing though, so still against Giratina, because of its special defense being 150, it's going to be able to take a few hits quite easily. It is slower, it's going to be hit first in most cases. Its defense is quite decent at 100, same as attack. Its special attack is 110, so it's, it's a decent attacker as well. It can dish out some damage, but its special defense is really, really good. So any special attacks, you're going to be, you're going to be fine. You shouldn't be one shot immediately. The next Pokemon that we showed you is Roserade. Now Roserade has a speed of 90. Now you're not really going to be using this one against Giratina at all, probably, usually because you're, you're not. it's not going to really benefit you. I mean, even though you can load on like Dazzling Gleam onto your onto your Roserade, you're really going to use this Roserade to deal with the Volos team in particular because of you, you have the nice high special attack. You have a decent speed of 90. You also have a good special defense here. You should be able to take out most of his team quite easily with Roserade too. Moving on to Weavile, Weavile is our other attacker that we're going to be using for both Volo's team, and then if it dies, you want to revive it for Giratina because it's going to be super effective against Giratina because it both has the Dark and the Ice super effective moves that it's going to be going against Giratina, and because Weavile has a speed of 125, an attack of 120, it's going to hit hard. Your Weavile is going to hit hard. Like, if you can go Agile style, load up a Swords Dance, and then just whack him with, like, something, like, really strong, like, maybe a, like a Night Slash, or let's see what other moves he can learn here. I would actually go for the Ice Punch here, because you're a physical attacker, you don't really want to use special attack moves. You want to only use the ones that use the physical, so you go and learn something like Ice Punch and Night Slash to get the best benefits out of your Weavile to really smack his team and his Giratina around quite hard. 
The next Pokemon I've decided to use is also quite tanky, but is a lot faster than you would actually expect. This is Tentacruel, having a speed of 100, is going to go first in most cases. It has the water and poison typing, it's able to do ice moves as well, and poison obviously. So you're going to be able to do ghost, poison, water, and even Dazzling Gleam if you want. So you can really load up your, your Tentacruel with a bunch of moves to deal with Volo's team in particular. You don't really want to use this for Giratina, but you can with the Dazzling Gleam if you end up having Tentacruel alive and against Giratina. Now the final Pokemon on the first team that we showed you is Gliscor. Now Gliscor is kind of an all-rounder, has really good defense, fast speed at 95, is going to be faster than most of Volo's team, has a really good attack as well. Gliscor has really good typing, it's ground and flying, has a, an array of moves of every different kind that you can think of as you can see here. So Gliscor is going to be able to deal with Volo's team quite nicely. It's really all you're going to use it for, Gliscor against Volo's team. You're not going to really use it against Giratina, though again, if you do have it alive, it, it's there. I mean, you can at least teach it like Ice Fang or something, can, which can be super effective against Giratina, but you're going to just use this for Volo's team. Now, if you look at our team that we used Legendaries for, we replaced Gudra, and we also replaced... Tentacruel. And now we've replaced these with Dialga and Cresselia. So let's talk about Cresselia. Cresselia is in my video where I actually made my Volo's tutorial on how to beat Volo and Giratina. And Cresselia can actually... If you actually have her high enough level and you have her with the perfect moves and you play her right, you can essentially beat Volo and Giratina just using Cresselia in a way. Like, like she's actually that strong because she can use Recover to heal. She has Lunar Blessing that does a massive amount of healing. And you're also able to use Moonblast, a fairy move. You can teach it Ice Beam for that ice move and maybe an energy ball for some grass attacks. And you can do quite some damage with Cresselia. Now, Cresselia is a tank Pokemon. It has really high defense, really high special defense. A, a good speed at 85. It's it's not faster than Giratina, for example, but it's going to be faster than, than your average type Pokemon. So Cresselia is a very, very good tank, guys. Do not sleep on Cresselia. If you're okay with using legendaries, Cresselia is needed on your team. She can eventually... She can essentially save your whole battle. Next up is Dialga. Now, Dialga comes in two forms. I highly recommend using him in his origin form. Now, this is just done by going to your key items in your satchel and using the, the special uh, item, I forget what it's called, onto Dialga and, and turning him into the origin form. Now, the reason why you want to use Dialga in his origin form is actually because he has more special defense. So if you're using him for Giratina right at the end of the battle, you both have 90 speed. You're going the exact same speed as Giratina. You have a very good special attack of 150. You're going to hit really, really hard. And if you're using a dragon type moving, like, for example, the uh, Roar of Time, which does 120 damage from a special attack, 150 here you're going to hit Giratina really, really hard. You also have a really good special defense and stuff, but if you use the normal Dialga, you'll notice your special defense actually goes down to, to 100, and your uh, attack actually just goes up to 120. So it's actually better to focus on just your special attack because you're not going to be using normal attack moves generally in this battle. So go for his origin form instead. It's going to be a whole lot better. Now, if you're looking for a different type of tank Pokemon, if you don't want to use Cresselia, you want to maybe use one of the Guardians, Yuxi is a very, very good idea because she or it or I, I don't know why I keep giving gender to these things has a speed of 95 and a defense of 130 and special defense of 130 it is a really really good defender you're able to load it up with a fairy type move maybe an energy ball an ice punch or you know like there's a variety of moves that you can teach it, as you can see over here so it's a good tanker that you can keep alive and kind of peck at the enemy's team Another legendary Pokemon that you can use on your team is Palkia. Now, Palkia is a lot faster than Dialga. It doesn't really have that decent moves. Like, you can see it doesn't have Roar of Time that's going to do 120 damage. So you don't have anything that's going to really hit so hard. You have Spatial Rain that hits for 90. Um, you still have a special attack of 150. The only catch is, is that your speed is a lot faster than Dialga because if you actually get it in the Origin form your speed can go up to 120. So this means if you use like an agile style move against Giratina, for example, at the end of the battle, you might be able to squeeze in two attacks at the same time, just before you die. So you might attack once, get hit by Giratina, and then be able to attack twice in a row against Giratina. So that, that kind of lets you have a little bit of leeway in the fight. And then there's also Sylveon, which is a Fairy-type Pokemon, really good special defense, not the greatest speed, really good special attack, decent HP. This is a really good Pokemon that you can use against Giratina as well. If you're looking for a really, 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 really good tank against Giratina, besides Cresselia, then you're going to be looking at Blissey. Blissey is 
insane. It has the highest HP out of any of the Pokemon in this game. Has really, really good special defense. Speed isn't so great, but you are able to use things like Draining Kiss to heal yourself, Calm Mind, Soft Boiled and stuff to kind of restore your own HP as you're getting hit. So if you're trying to revive Pokemon, Blissey is amazing. You throw out a Blissey there, just let it soak up hits from any Pokemon on Volo's team. And all you have to do is just revive your Pokemon using Max Revives or using potions to heal them up so that when you rotate them in, you can just, just destroy Giratina just like with your six Pokemon. You're also able to use Umbreon as an attacker against Giratina for his dark typing, really good special defense, decent speed, decent HP, and also normal defense is quite good. So you can use Umbreon to kind of peck at Giratina with your fairy type moves or dark type moves. I would actually recommend dark type because you are a dark type Pokemon here. So you're going to benefit more from using Umbreon as a dark typing tanky attacker against Giratina. And then of course you have Togekiss as well, which is a fairy typing, flying typing Pokemon, which has a decent speed, good special attack, and good special defense, which can also be used against Giratina, but not really so much Volo's team. You really want to save this probably for Giratina more than anything else. That's essentially all the Pokemon that I recommend that you look at or, or kind of like move around and swap to make the perfect team for you to use against Volo and his Giratina if you're really trying to win in the best way possible or you're just trying to try out different compositions for beating him. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.